And there are the monkeys, and we hope to see them live. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in light It's snow monkey town and not funky town Live kiwis Yeah, first time I see a live kiwi tree And actually this is a tree and uh, amazing, just next to the street where we're walking up to our Rio Khan. So the Rio Khan is a traditional hotel. This is towards our traditional hotel. And it's very uh, original. So you are taking your shoes out and you're stepping with their uh, shoes in. And then we're already continuing our drive. And the hotel owner, he was so nice to bring us up to the mountains to the uh, snow monkey trail and there's a little trail what you have to do about one mile uh, from the uh, street through the mountains towards the uh, monkey reservoir or reservation <laughs> there where they actually are visiting their little pool where they're taking a bus and it's already fall and you can see that uh, nice coloring of the trees and that is right hand driving so the left is free yeah this is the entrance of the trail for to go towards the snow monkeys and it's about a mile long and you arrive that through a park of japanese pines very straight up trees and you're going through that <laughs> route and, and arriving later at <coughs> the at a small river and there's more attractions at that river as well okay guys we are staying here in front of the geyser i think that's how it's called right and it smells like uh, what is that sulfate uh, it's pushing out to a control from the control pipe what they installed here. Uh, it's hot water and it ends up into the river there. So here we are. Here is where the monkey is supposed to be. But it is mating season. And I put you a link here. Then you can see a live webcam. If the monkeys are there, today not, these are now the funky monkeys because there's mating season and even the rangers couldn't find them because they are hiding in privacy. So today was not a good day, maybe the next time. Yeah, then our only chance was to return back and going down the route again uh, from here. Uh, there's a little entrance fee what you would have to pay to see them because they have to operate the live cams and then there is a little visitor center as well where you can buy some uh, gifts and yeah when you see that in the further back there all the way back there there is the warm bus uh, pools where the monkeys are and here we're already driving back and uh, our hotel owner, the hotel owner was also so nice to pick us up again uh, and to drive us back. You can already see the nice coloring of the trees. It was uh, November, end of November and it was uh, basically fall in Japan. And uh, the, this is the extension of the river going down from the mountains uh, and nice mountain town in Japan and with uh, some attractions and here is our hotel so when you walk in that hotel you're gonna leave your street shoes outside and then you get slippers from the hotel 
some of them a little bit over la large, <laughs> so a little bit large, but I think I found the right one. So what we want to discover here is the common bathroom. They are separated by lady and men. And this is more kind of a steam bath. And uh, that was uh, usually in the old times uh, a social area where everybody gathered of the men and the women uh, doing a bathing time. And they talked and uh, made fun and all of the things. And this is the bathroom it belongs to the hotel. We're going later to a different bathroom. It's going to show you soon. Now, in this case, there we are wanting up to our room. Nagano was 1998, the Winter Olympic Games in Japan. And we are going towards our room. It was on the first floor. So we are entering a typical Rio Khan with those walls here. And here is all your stuff and all your luggage. I just open the light here. And then you're coming in a very typical home here with all of those walls. So this is your private bathroom here, your TV, your safe, your heating, and then you have an extra area with your winter garden, which is actually nice and cozy warm here. Let's see if we have some light, and we probably can make some light here. That is nice and warm. And then you can here have a look and check the outside before the sunset. And then here's the bathroom with that fancy toilet again. And then here's that typical thing that you have, you can wash your hands here and it runs into the next container and that can flush the toilet. So that's how you save actually water. Can be an option for people, for our countries would need to save water. Check what the rest of it here is. This is where you can sleep on a futon and here is another compartment. Ah, this is your private kimono and then your uh, towels here. And then there is a shower here that you can use. It's a smaller one. Oh, this is the whole standing bathroom. That's very traditional. Attached to the hotel was a typical Japanese onsen. It's all in wood. Onsen is a really hot bath. And that hot bath uh, you can enjoy and you can cook yourself in that hot bath. I originally was thinking that's about 42 degrees Celsius, which oh, I have to convert that into it's about 110. But it was actually hotter than 110 and here is a nice area on you can see over the roofs of the little town and they have also covered uh, their onsen with thermal mats so that the heat does not get out 
and you could take the at the end you take the mats off there and then go into the bath and what i actually did what actually all of us did and uh, they have a really a nice atmosphere during the sunset where you can enjoy the hot bath it was necessary because we were really lame on our legs because of running so much and actually in the first hour after that I feel very well, very, very good. Because And here you can see how I'm cooking, how it is steaming and I'm cooking in that hot bath. It takes a while to get used to that, but it's fun. Correction, it's 45 degrees Celsius and you're turning in like a shrimp. Because it's gonna be gonna all red. But it feels quite relaxing. Yeah, this is the next day and our ways are separating so my relatives are turning a different way they're going to osaka with the train and i'm going on the next day uh, back to tokyo and then directly there to the airport with uh, the shinkansen again uh, and i hope you liked it and there is much more to see for the last part of it and please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.